My name is Gerald Davison, and I'm Dean of the USC Davis School of Gerontology and also Executive Director of the Andrus Gerontology Center. The, the mission of the, the school is research and education in aging and um, to encourage and support and conduct research into what we call the fundamental mechanisms of aging. That is what goes on psychologically, biologically, sociologically, and try to understand what happens as people get older. The culture of, of, of retirement, uh, the whole notion of retirement, has in fact gone through very, very significant changes. A lot of people are attributing it to sort of the anticipation of the uh, baby boomers. Uh, pretty soon, I think sometime next year, the, the first baby boomer will turn 65. That 65 retirement age, which is changing uh, with regard to Social Security and so forth, it's getting older as people live longer. But as people, even when they retire, they often go on to another job or another career, and they, they stay active in one way or another. But exercise and working out is not only possible, but highly desirable as one gets older. One of the things about exercise is that it, it can be a very solitary and even lonely endeavor, but it need not be. And one purpose that clubs, for example, or, or informal groups serve is to provide a kind of social network or a little support group where people encourage each other. And they can relate to certain things that, in terms of the past, that younger people may not be able to, to relate to. And it's, it's, it's enjoyable, it's very bolstering to have people around you who have had similar experiences to yours and with whom one has sort of a, a common link even before you get to know them. I go walking on a regular basis, uh, daily if I can possibly do it, and walk as vigorously as I can for as long as I can. And in order to get the, the heart uh, rate up, in order to get those lungs pumping, and that kind of exercise, aerobic exercise, is extremely important for people at any age, but particularly for people who are uh, recovering from a uh, major heart surgery such as myself. One of the benefits that I've uh, uh, derived from having the surgery is it encouraged me to lose weight. Simple as that. With uh, guidance and direction, I've been able to reduce the salt intake and uh, some of the carbs and uh, especially the calories and have been managed to lose, I'm happy to say, about 40 pounds from where I was before the surgery. You don't have to be uh, jogging heavily or running in order to get the benefits of the aerobic effects of, of walking. Um, walking even, uh, you know, not too fast is better than not walking at all. But you do have to get that heart pumping, get the heart rate up, and, and huffing and puffing. And one of the things that when you're pronounced in reasonably good shape from, in my case, from uh, triple bypass and a new valve, then you, you have confidence in, uh, in what you're doing. And when you're huffing and puffing, it's not a sign of, uh oh, I'd better slow down. It's a sign that you know things are going well and I can push it a bit more. There's a new field uh, that in the past 15 or 20 years it has a new name called Geron Technology. And it's a blend of gerontology and technology. There are, for example, monitoring mechanisms that, um, that where via computer and the internet, you can uh, set up ways to track the movement, the location and frequency of movement of people within their homes or within an assisted care facility and monitor their movements. There are reminders for when to take medication. There are even devices now for um, built into a toilet for checking uh, um, certain parameters of, of the urine uh, in an unobtrusive way and have the results sent automatically to a lab. These are astounding developments that um, were unheard of uh, a generation ago. These days, one of the best ways to get information about most anything is on the web. So do yourself a favor, go to our website, www.usc.edu backslash gero, G-E-R-O, where you can get all sorts of information about our school, about things we're doing here, and also links to other parts of cyberspace where there's lots of information of relevance to your lives.